Hey guys, thank you, thank you for listening here. Um, let's talk about a little about the opening of the stock market. We could we could see that the ten year deal has gone down, has gone up, sorry, and that has really taken down overall the stocks. Uh, we could see CCIV down at twenty five sixty five. I think it's down like four percent from yesterday. You closed that yesterday at twenty six seventy six. Almost like a dollar decrease right there, and um, also Redfin, we're, we're down there, we're down at 74.50, we close at 76.69. And the 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 gainers on during the um, during the after hour uh, pre market is Novax because of their vaccine that they got approval on in Europe, so that went up, that went up like 20%. And um, I think this is going to be the play. But still, it actually came down from yesterday. It was, it was at 240. 240, yeah, 230. And then it came open at 223. And it's actually going down. So everything is, is looking kind of kind of down. In other words, um, bearish because of the 10 years that um, went up because of what Biden said yesterday. And that. So basically, any, anything dealing with like. With the ten, the ten year note or interest rates will make the stock market go down, and it'll be volatile. It will make it go up, it could go down because these three days have been good. And what happened is this: um, the the T bill, the ten year note went up a little bit. Then we can see it here; it's ticking up, and the stock market doesn't like that, and it makes it go down. So right now we're already seventy four fifty. So. Because of this kind of volatility, uh, this from here from this point moving forward, it's gonna go up and down, up and down. It's good for day trading, Craig, because you have that volatility. But for your portfolio long term, you, you know, you should. For me, I'm gonna take a little bit off the table and move it around. For example, I do trade a lot CCIV. CCIV, I do trade it often, Ooh. meaning that today it's gonna be a good buy opportunity. And yesterday, there's nothing there because. Started off uh, weak, but still didn't it didn't hit the um, RSI that I need that I use as my buying indicator, and it hit right here. And from there, it in from that point on, it hit the um, RSI indicator. Sorry, and from the it never hit, it never came back down. It just went straight up, and I was like, no, I don't leave that until it hits back down. And today, what happened? It, it did. That's what it did. In the pre market, it was a twenty cent dollars it started trading between 24 dollars to 27 dollars up and down give and take so and the and the catalyst behind this is all and, and, and all marketing news is driving this and next week on the 17th of march they're going to have an event of uh, exposed their car they're going to have like new features on the car so i put it on my twitter page if you want to um, li uh, listen about the video it's right here um, yep, it's right here. It's, it's uh, CCIV on my opinion of the Lucy video. So it's right there if you want to take a look. So at the end of the day, there is a lot of catalysts around the stock next week. Today, it looks like it's, it's, it's weak like all the stocks are. And I'm going to take advantage in the opening, take some money off the table from Redfin and put it into here. Because at the, at the end of the day, um, it's gonna, this is going to continue. It's going to continue to be moving up and down, moving up and down because of the of the uh, T bill, um, you know, interest rates moving up, and then um, the money uh, being put in by the government will fluctuate that those um want those interest rates. So now this is going to affect the stock market, and at the end of the day, people are going to panic, and people are going to sell, and then you're going to have buying opportunities, yada yada, right? So there's, there's a lot of things moving on. So you just got to be careful and know what where you want to buy, where you want to sell or hold, right? So. This is, I'm going to continue to make another video about, about actually the marijuana that actually Mexico passed in a couple of days, uh, what was it, yesterday, and the big beneficiary from that was still right there, we went up 20% yesterday, but still that's down, we can see here that the, yesterday went 20% till rate, so I'm going to make a video and, and um, more, a little bit more in depth about where we're at with that, and, and the US, and Mexico, and how is that going to work out, so thank you for listening. Like the video, dislike the video, and subscribe. Thank you.